Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plan Obsessed, and today we're starting the Eurozone. So we have the Northeast Worms Europeans over here. We have the Emily, the crazy worm lady, Worms European Nightcrawlers over here. And this is my new setup half a 55 gallon drum here, half a 55 gallon drum there, a whole one there using as a table. And then we have the places underneath where I'm going to keep their bedding. And then here is a bucket of food from Cece. All right, we're going to have to check on these guys independently, but I thought you should see what the whole setup looks like. We've managed to get rid of some of the spiders, even things out, put up another light. So here we go. I'll put you up on the stand. Okay, here we go. We are on the Emily side of the Eurozone. I'm going to move over my boxes over here. So let's see what's going on in here. All right, it looks like the springtails are springing. Now, if you watch the microscope video from yesterday, I think I have an idea on what happens with the cycles of the mites and the springtails. As we saw in the, um, in the video, we saw a brown mite eating a springtail. And I'm starting to think that maybe what we're seeing here is an ecological cycle of we have a boom of the springtails which then causes the mites to have a population explosion, in which case then they eat the springtails and I have a mite explosion, and then they both die off until the next cycle comes, come, comes forward. So that's what I've decided is happening here. It's uh, kind of like a, you know, just a normal cycle that you would see in nature. When the predator-prey relationship uh, gets out of balance, then the prey species, which is the springtails, get all uh, highly populated. Then the predator species will also increase its offspring, and then the next thing you know, the prey species has a lower population density. All right, well, springtails and mites aside, we're not here to talk about them. You guys are here for the worms. All right, let's see what we've got going in here. Now this is, I think, only the second time we've looked on the, the Euros since we did that water har harvest. So that's what uh, worms are in here, are the ones that got through the water harvest. So being that they're in a much bigger bin, I'm not sure if we're going to see much of a concentration because they have uh, quite a ways that they can roam in here, quite honestly. I mean, they were in a 10 gallon before, and they've got, you know, 25 gallons here. But yeah, we're, we're seeing some. Lots of range of sizes, though. You're seeing little ones all the way up to big ones. Look, another avocado tree. Um, Speaking of avocado trees, while I'm digging, uh, I watch a channel called Sleepy Lizard, and I think it's just because I love avocados, and he has an avocado farm. Um, anyway, so he finally had a sale of Florida avocados, and I had tried to get in on it previously and didn't make the cut, and this time I managed to get myself some Florida variety avocados, so I'm super excited for them to ripen in-house, and then we will have a whole new kind of avocado pit for the worms to grow trees out of. Um, but yeah, check out his channel if you ever wondered about growing your own avocado tree and what does it take. Uh, Sleepy Lizard. And let's see, while we are shouting out people, um, I have discovered one of the things I'm not sure everybody has picked up on is that Worm people like worm people. And so if you check out the comments um, in my video, like the people that have commented on there, there's a lot of worm channels out there. And I've discovered um, quite a few new worm channels lately. Um, of course, uh, D 
D has become kind of one of the standards in the worm channel. Um, so look for the comments below. You've got worms learning by doing. You've got eye worms, worm weirdo. Um, and uh, put in the comments below if you are also a worm channel. Um, I try to do a shout out. I know AJ did AJ's Green Topics. Uh, he's not just worms, but he's also other green topics as well. Um, but anyway, so check out the comments on my videos after it's been up for, you know, three or four or five days. And you, if you want more worm content than what I can provide you, then you should totally check out the comments and look for different worm channels. Um, because that way you can, you know, watch worms all the time. And then you don't have to rely on the two or three channels that you already you watch. Um, what there's also uh, sourdough, Alaska worms. Um, she grows worms in Alaska, and that's another thing that I find really interesting is all the different places that people grow worms. We got people in Florida. We've got a lot in Illinois. Um, I think our sustainable journey, they're doing uh, professional um, composting. Uh, taking in people's scraps. You've heard me talk about taking in CC scraps, but this person actually does it professionally and has a service uh, that picks up people's scraps up in northern Illinois. Got a cocoon. But yeah, no concentration of worms here today. So it's been over a week. I'm going to say it's been more closer to three weeks since I've been down here. Uh, but I've been, as you saw at the beginning of the video, building up my wormery, and that takes away a little bit from the time that I have to do videos. Alright, so since these guys seem to be completely without food, other than their bedding, we're going to give them a good size feeding. So let's see what CC has got for us today. Uh, that looks like a pineapple. Rice or something. Yeah, this is what happens when you become an empty nester. And you have kids and you're used to having a whole bunch of food in the house and then they run off and go to college and then you forget how to feed one or two people. I think that's noodles. I have the same thing happening to me. Um, I forget how to feed just, you know, me and my husband. Alright, so that is the Emily um, worms. Now let's flip you around and take a look at the Northeast worms. Okay, here we are on the northeast side, which is actually on the south side of the house, oddly enough. Alright, so let's take a look in here. I actually kidnapped some of these guys and took them on a field trip to go teach some kids about uh, worm composting and the like. So, of course, the prettiest, newest worms that I have are the worms from Gatano over at Northeast Worms. So, of course, they got to go out and, and play with the kids, which they were very interested to see them under the microscope and, and see what they were doing. All right. Well, these guys are already making castings. Look at that. Already. So, I'm going to kind of fluff up the bin here and see if I've got any food left. I think we had a lot of fruit in the food, or for food last time. So I wouldn't expect after a couple of weeks to see any food, you know, fruit left. But one of the interesting things to see when you've got these big worms is how fast they go through and make castings out of beddings, and in particular earthworms, whether they are, or night crawlers, whether they are African night crawlers or European night crawlers, you usually see them go through the bedding at an insane rate. 
But yeah, so they're doing good. It's dry. Um, I've got some water I'm going to put in there. The underneath side of the bin is actually a nice moisture. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Because I haven't been down here, you know, incorporating everything. Look at those castings already. Uh, the moisture has kind of got dry on the top and the part under underneath is fine. But there's only a pound of worms in here at this moment, so they've got more than enough room to you know, have everybody have a place where it's nice and moist. All right, well, let's get these big guys fed up. Let's make a hole in the middle there, see what we got. This has been let go quite a while, so I honestly, don't, you know, have no idea. This looks like cabbage rolls. Soup. In case you're noticing something that you don't normally see from me, it is because I have messed up my cuticles working in the garden. And I do have some uh, cuts. So I think I've got strawberries and noodles and, I don't know, cabbage rolls. Oh my. So I'm going to cover them up. And then maybe we'll get a worm ball next time. And I'll keep an eye on these guys a little bit more now that I'm done building in the wormery and whatnot. All right, guys. If you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. And if you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and the Euros. And everybody, have a good day.